46, 47, 48, 49, 50. That's all of them. It's time for Cool Weird Awesome, a show that's full of stars. I'm Brady. It's Wednesday, January 19th, the birthday in 1942 of the guy who created the flag of the United States. Yes, I know the Stars and Stripes are actually much older than 1942, but remember the flag has changed over the years. Originally, there were 13 stars and 13 stripes. And while the stripes have mostly stayed at 13, the number of stars has been rising for most of the country's history. That's where Bob Heft comes in. In 1958, he was a high school junior in Ohio. Heft had to create a project for his U.S. history class, and the assignment gave him an idea. There have been 48 states in the country since 1912, so there were 48 stars on the U.S. flag. But by the late 1950s, the push was on to make Alaska and Hawaii states as well. Heff decided his class project would be designing the first 50-state U.S. flag. He took a 48-star flag his parents had gotten as a wedding present and redesigned the field of stars. There were five rows of six stars, and in between them, four rows of five stars. Not bad for a guy who said he'd never sewn anything before in his life. His teacher gave Heft a B-. minus. He said he'd added too many stars to the flag. Heft protested, explaining his concept, and the teacher said, well, if you can get the government to accept this flag design, maybe I'll change your grade. And that's exactly what Heft did. For two years, he called and wrote the White House over and over and over, explaining that he'd created a flag that they would need with two new states in the Union. One day, his phone rang. It was President Dwight D. Eisenhower inviting Heft to watch his flag being raised over the U.S. Capitol for the first time on July 4th, 1960. And that history teacher did change Heft's grade to an A. You can learn more about Bob Heft, who designed the U.S. flag, at CoolWeirdAwesome.com and on Twitter at CoolWeirdPod. We have another birthday story for you after this short break, so stick around. Cool Weird Awesome is listener-powered thanks to our backers on Patreon. For just a dollar a month, you'll get loads of extras, including more episodes of the show, previews of upcoming episodes, and the chance to add their own messages to the show. Backing us would be cool. Backing us would be awesome. Backing us will never be weird. Visit patreon.com slash Brady Carlson. And thanks. Welcome back. Today in 1809 was the birthday of Edgar Allan Poe. Interesting side note about the great author. There was once an effort to make a biopic about him that would have starred none other than Sylvester Stallone. He eventually decided he wasn't right for the part, but not before doing a costume test. I'm Brady. How about Poe versus Clubber Lang, then? Thanks again for listening, and come back tomorrow for more Cool Weird Awesome. Another helpful Brady Carlson project.